Hi folks, I just want to talk about uh, the Quran and has it changed? <laughs> Muslims will say that the Quran hasn't changed and I want to pose a question to you Muslims out there because often you will attack the Bible and you will say the Bible's changed. So we need to put questions to you as well if you're going to do the same and you've got to be intellectually honest as a Muslim. That most Muslims when they get a chance to talk to a Christian will say that the Bible's changed. And you've got to be willing to take the same criticism that you're giving out, and so it's only fair. <clears throat> First of all, if you take um, all this information, can be found on the website of Samuel Green and his YouTube channel. He is a scholar in Islam, and uh, will give you the scholarly references to all what I'm saying. But if you take uh, the Qurans in Arabic, you will find that there are Qurans that differ in wording. So that's one example where the Muslim scholars and Muslims are not being intellectually honest. Secondly, uh, in the history of Islam, uh, Uthman in Bukhari Hadith, using your science of Hadith, uh, talks about he burnt the Qurans and made one standard Quran. Now, the Muslim explanation is, is that there were different pronunciations, arguments for pronunciations, and one doesn't doubt that that's in the Bukhari text but even if we grant you that that doesn't explain explain why Uthman burnt other text other Quranic text it does not explain that fully the only reason he could be burning other text is those texts do not agree with his text which is showing you that there was a corruption the third thing is that the Ra hadiths were the specific verses that Muhammad gave and then in the hadith it says that they are lost or that the hadith says that these verses were changed so for example on breastfeeding if you look at Bukhari and you look at the story of the issue of breastfeeding there was a, a, a command given by Muhammad that was stated as the Quran and it was lost because it was put under, pit under a lady's pillar and the sheep ate it. So that's three examples of where it's just completely not true if we look at it from a Muslim perspective that the Quran hasn't changed. It has changed and you have to be intellectually honest as Muslims and deal with that fact. 